I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. Um, tell us a bit about then being here tonight, being able to watch this film on the big screen after two years, you know, not being able to be in the cinema much. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. Um, nice to be back in the world of indie film. I love indie films. I'd love to do more indie films. They're just like the best, I think. Uh, beautiful, like a little original stories. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I was just saying, like, I haven't seen Joe in, I think, since we filmed, since we were on set together in Skins. It's just like 10 years ago. So, um, yeah, it'll be fun to see him. Yeah. He feels like one of those actors that's kind of done such a range of roles. Like, he seems to pop yeah. up in lots of different places and very different so things. versatile, you know, he's just popping up in everything, anything. He's so confident and self assured. So, um, yeah, he's great. He's, he's great to watch. He's going to do amazing things. I think he's going to fill the boots of people like Tom Hardy. You know, he feels like a kind of similar actor, really dynamic and powerful. So, uh, yeah. You know, he can do everything. He can be very soft, he can be very hard, and that sounded a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> and what can you tell us about what you're working on at the moment? I'm not sure I'm allowed to, so I better not, but there's this like really big uh, comedy film. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a really, it's a really cool project, uh, and it's gonna be quite a surprise to the team on board, so yeah, uh, you know. I've not started filming yet. I've not even been announced yet, so I'm gonna keep that close, you know. And thinking of the highlights of your career so far, thinking back to Skins, what was the experience like being on that show? It was, it was, it was great. I was so young, you know, so it feels like a very long time ago. I feel like a very different person now. So, uh, but you know, I've still got, I'm still friends with a lot of those people, and um, it was like the most unbelievable opportunity. I really wouldn't, I wouldn't be here working without it. Um, and it put me into, into I, I got through the door on like really big stuff. So I would, about time after that, and then the, the comedy work I've done since, I don't think would have happened without, um, I just see my friend, um, without, without skins. So yeah, you know, when, you, when you're like 16 and you get an opportunity to work, to practice that much, having a lead role, that's all you want is the opportunity to practice. So get better. So yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a dream. Yeah, really fond, of, really fond memories. Does it feel like it was quite kind of like groundbreaking at the time? I don't know, people are sort of into things like euphoria, which maybe is the yeah. thing of, of this era now, but that felt like, I mean, certainly very British. Yeah, I, you know, know, but, I mean, I'm putting skins above on the groundbreaking level, I think, because euphoria feels very inspired by skins. Um, I think it was like the first show that gave uh, an honest portrayal of what kids were up to and didn't hide anything and didn't tuck anything away. It's like the good, the bad and the ugly of it. So yeah, I think it was absolutely iconic. I was just saying like, it's, I think it's still timeless. I think it's, as long as it's timeless, as long as it's still relevant and I think it feels relevant, hopefully real, you know? So yeah, I'm very proud to have been part of such a, an iconic uh, cult thing, yeah. And what were some of the highlights? Would you have a particular memory that you loved so much for it? Or one particularly challenging moment? There were scenes where all eight of us were just kicking about and chatting shit. This is really random scene where we're in Nick, Nick's episode played by Sean Teal and we're all in this club and, and we've got this game going that like, we're gonna be there for like 48 hours and no one's allowed to puke or leave or something else, get kicked out, I don't know. But, um, it was one of the, first, the only times in that series that we were all in the same room at the same time. And those were really, that was really fun. Yeah. And what about your ambitions for the future? Do you have a particular kind of film or TV or theatre thing you'd like to do or work with a particular director? Uh, yeah, um, I made a new friend this week. I'd like to work with Joe Wright, uh, who I met this week, who's a, the nicest guy and such a cool creative and so down to earth. and. Um, yeah, I think I'd like to work with him. <laughs> I know that he might see this. <laughs> yeah, I think he'd laugh. But yeah, he's a cool dude. Have you seen Cyrano, the new film? I've got to see Cyrano, I haven't seen it. Um, but I love his classics. I mean, who doesn't? So yeah, he's awesome. So so much style. He's such, such a cool guy. So yeah, I'd like, I'd like to do something like that. Awesome, well, lovely to speak to you. Enjoy the evening, enjoy the film. Thank you.